let me say this. I strongly believe, uh, believe that any player who's considered a superstar should be criticized if they are consistently failing uh, to perform at their expected level in the playoffs, okay? And to a, a great extent, if they're not uh, succeeding at the level competitively that you should expect them to compete at. But there are some other factors that should be involved in this as well. Uh, the, the team's health, the level of competition, you know, uh, you know, their age, uh, all of these things should play factors, okay? What I have an issue is when the level of criticism supersedes the real the realization of the uh, 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 supersedes the reality of the situation and but then when you have another player who's in a similar circumstance gets no or very little criticism in comparison so everybody knows that Giannis is getting a lot of smoke right now because his team, the Milwaukee Bucks, are down 3-2. First of all, let me address something. What's up with all of this Milwaukee Buck hate? What the fuck is going on with this? Why is the Brooklyn Nets perceived to be... Let me, let me get this out the way. Why in the fuck are the Brooklyn Nets perceived to be the black team? I've seen this. I've seen this criticism before. Because I'm rooting for Milwaukee, I'm rooting for a white team. Nigga, do you know that Milwaukee is majority black? Do you know anything, you stupid motherfucker? Do you know Milwaukee is such a black city that it's number one in the nation in arrest for black men? Milwaukee is the top black, well, probably the one of, if not the blackest cities in America. But because you think Midwest, you think fucking Barnes and and just like that dumbass fucking uh, Marcellus uh, Wiley, what the fuck his name is, talking about Colin Kaepernick is from Wisconsin and ain't no black people in Wisconsin. You stupid motherfucker. It's black people all in Wisconsin, you dumbass nigga. Not every fucking black person lives in fucking L.A. or Brooklyn. The fuck is wrong with these stupid motherfuckers? So anyway, Giannis is getting a lot of criticism because the fact that his team is down to Brooklyn, you know. And some of it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Some of it I, I, I can't fault, you know, his shot selection. Um, it, it bothers me too, okay? But the only thing I'm going to say is when you hear in the media things like this, Giannis has to get a three-point shot. I mean... In today's NBA, you got to have a shot. You got to have a shot. Russell Westbrook. I mean, he's a competitor. I mean, the, the brother's bad. You know, he's going to go down as a top 10 point guard of all time. But brother, you're only shooting 31% from three. That's not going to get it done. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Is a force. A force. 31 points a game, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, 2.5 blocks a game. The brother can ball. But in today's NBA, you got to get a shot. Now, mind you, we ain't talking about a guy that only talks to 400 people a day or 800 people a day like me or 
a couple of thousand, like, you know, 78 in, 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 in a ticket. No, we're talking about a person who talks to millions of people every day and implant this in their minds. And these things resonate with players. So Giannis is shooting shots because in order to get better at shooting threes, you have to take them because Giannis wants to get better. So yes, when he's shooting and he misses, it bothers us. But at least he's not afraid to fucking fail. And that also shows that he's trying to improve as a fucking player. Now, some of his decision-making still doesn't make sense. Spin off the defense. Don't spin away from the defense, Giannis. Yes, some of these things will get, he will, he will master in time. The Akeem Olajuwon that we saw in 94 and 95 took years to develop those moves, okay? Everything, Rome wasn't built in the day. Let's give it some time. But my problem is when everybody want to blame everything on Giannis, when they don't want to blame Mike Budenholzer, when you don't want to blame uh, Chris Middleton, or at least the media giving you the perception that Chris Middleton is a legitimate second option when he's not, when you don't want to blame some of the others for not stepping up, Okay. A lot of the others who were balling in the first round, you know what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden in the second round, they they're not really there. Okay. But my thing is this. When you see people say shit like, if Giannis doesn't win this series, it's the biggest choke job ever. How the fuck do you come to that conclusion? If I'm not mistaken, wasn't this Nets team the most stacked team in recent recent history? Even without Kyrie Irving and James Harden, they're still a great fucking team. Why? Because they're led by a guy who supposedly, I thought, is the best player in the NBA. You put Michael Jordan, when he was in his prime, on any fucking team in the NBA at that time, and they'd be a great fucking team. Period. If I'm not mistaken, Joe Harris has the third highest three-point percentage or the fourth highest. I think it's the fourth highest. I think he has the fourth highest three-point percentage in the history of the NBA. I think the only ones higher with him, higher than him, are Steve Kerr, Seth Curry, and uh, 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 Hubert Davis, if I'm not mistaken. Sharpshooter, historical all-time sharpshooter. You still have good pieces. You know what I'm saying? You still have Blake Griffin, who has a lot left in the tank. You still have old boy uh, 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 Green. You know what I'm saying? You still have a lot of pieces on that team without Kyrie and James Harden. Now they have James Harden back. Now he didn't do shit in game five. That's not going to happen in game six. He's not going to go 0 for 8 from three-point range in game six. Believe you me, okay? Um, the perception that the Bucks all of a sudden now were the were, were the better team and the uh, and the Nets were the underdog. Let's look at some reality here. Wasn't the Bucks the fourth, the, the what were they, the third seed? The Nets were the first seed. Am I correct? Since when is the third seed all of a sudden supersede the first seed? The biggest upset in playoff history. Um, did they see the 94 Sonics who won 63 games lose to the Denver Nuggets? Did anyone see Phoenix play a 3-1 lead against Houston in 95? 
Does anyone recall the Detroit Pistons upsetting that supposed stacked Laker team in 04 in the finals? I mean, people just say some of the most ridiculous shit, and dumb sheep will repeat it. They'll just repeat it. The Nets were the favorites to win the championship. Were they not? Now, all of a sudden, if if Giannis loses to this team, he's a failure. And it's just proven. Even though every team that has eliminated Milwaukee in the last three years have gone on to the finals. Two of them, the Nets and the Raptors, are favored to win the title. But let's look at the comparison to Philly. Philly, who I think had the second best record in the Eastern Conference, are on the verge of getting eliminated by a playoff neophyte in Atlanta, a team that nobody, nobody even thought they were going to be a playoff uh, 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 a contending team this year. When I say contending, I mean, yeah, they might sneak in as an A seed. That's about it. They're on the verge of beating the Philadelphia 76ers. I don't see the same smoke for Philly. I damn sure don't. Where is it? And they've done this even longer, failing and flailing in the playoffs. Lost a heartbreaker a couple of years ago, to Kawhi. In game seven. Getting upset all the time in the playoffs. Heartbreak after heartbreak. And where Russ... And Giannis will at least shoot the fucking ball. Even Draymond Green, who I don't like, he will shoot the fucking ball at least. This guy don't want to fucking even try. He doesn't even want to try. And he's shown really no improvement in his game at all. He relies totally on his athleticism. Now, people will say, Well, he's a valuable asset because of his playmaking and defense. Well, so is Giannis. But that's not enough, is it? And I'm going to tell you something else. Ben Simmons was more touted as a rookie than Giannis was. Much more. Remember, he was being compared, Ben Simmons was being compared to LeBron James coming into the NBA. He, He might be the next LeBron James and all this. He just needs to work on his game. Well, he hasn't worked on shit, apparently. The only thing he's working is this dick inside of Instagram models. That's the only thing that he's been working on. It's gotten to the point where this guy's now such a liability with the hacker, the hacker Simmons that they take him out. Rivers had to take him out and that helped the spur the historic 26-point comeback. And these guys are on the verge of getting eliminated. But I don't see nearly the same animus. Yes, there's some people. Don't get me wrong. There's some people that's giving it to Ben Simmons, but not, not anywhere near the realm of people who are shitting on Giannis onto the compo. And part of it has to do, I believe, with the media. Yes, the media. See, the media are crafty, sneaky devils. And I've I've alluded to this before. The Brother 78, we've talked about this. The media is very desirous and wanting to go to areas that they prefer as far as uh, uh, cities when they are covering sports. They don't want to go to Milwaukee. They don't want to go to Sacramento. They don't want to go to uh, Memphis. They want to go to L.A. They want to go to Miami. They want to go to New York. It's a lot of shit to do. I know it sounds silly to some of you young people. And you're like, oh, you're reaching. Think about it. Why are they always 
speculating that these stars are going to those three cities. You never hear them say, I think Giannis should go to Utah. Nope. They will say, Giannis needs to go to Miami. Now, mind you, there's no stars in Miami. And you could use the angle where well, LeBron's in L.A. There's no stars in Miami. Why all of a sudden you want Giannis to join uh, Jimmy Butler? He's not a star. Why not uh, have him go join uh, 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 Donna Mitchell in Utah? No, because you don't want to go to Utah. There ain't shit, to, ain't nothing to do in Salt Lake. But you want to go to Miami. You want to go into there. These people are self-serving, man. Okay? They want to go to the best hotels. They want to go to the best resorts. They want to go and 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 where, where the people are, where the nightlife, the celebrities, and all that type shit. Think. Use your third eye and start looking at the big picture. It got nothing to do with uh, proving himself. And look, first of all, Giannis and Donovan Mitchell and 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 Dame Lillard, all these guys should be praised for wanting to win in their respective cities. That shows heart. Not going and running and, 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 you know, falling behind another star and getting a surefire championship. That doesn't show heart. That's a cowardly way of winning the championship, in my opinion. Especially when you're in your prime. Now, when you're an older player and you're on the telling of your career, okay, that's something different. And you're just a piece. And I, I'm going to talk about that in another video as well. Uh, brother, uh, uh, ticket want me to do a video about uh, a subject, but that's this. This is what I'm just saying, man. These guys, they're they're self serving, and they they're gonna like like look. For instance, Ticket just did a video saying that the family of Zion Williamson want him to get out of New Orleans. I guarantee you, they're not gonna say Zion should go to New York. Uh, excuse me, uh, Memphis or Sacramento or Utah. They're gonna want. They're gonna say, Golden State, L.A., New York, Miami. Large markets, which they prefer to cover. And prefer to visit as journalists, because they got to be in the city there to cover it. They don't want to go to Cleveland. They've even mentioned that before. There ain't shit to do in Cleveland. So all these things plays factors, okay? All these things plays fa play factors when they're covering these athletes. So all I'm saying is, just be fair. Give Giannis the, 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 yeah, go in on Giannis. But also go in on these other motherfuckers. Okay? Go in on these other motherfuckers too. Don't give Ben Simmons and Joel and B passes just because, you know, uh, you know, they play in Philly. Oh, fuck that. That's all I got to say. Tell me what you guys think.